hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I am Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. Paytm might integrate a messaging service in its app. Earlier we were able to send money, then they integrated UPI mode of payment and now messaging, just like on WhatsApp. Facebook is also trying to do the same with WhatsApp. They are trying to integrate UPI mode of payment to transfer money just using phone numbers. Paytm might launch the messaging feature by the end of August. Next we have news from Apple. Apple's third quarter earnings are out and the biggest highlight is the jump in iPad sales. For the first time in three years, iPad sales have seen a spike. That's probably because of lack of good Android tablets. So far, Apple has sold 11.4 million iPad units. Next we have news from Motorola. Motorola has announced Moto G5 S and Moto G5 S Plus. For approximately 18,000 rupees and 23,000 rupees, Moto G5 S comes with a 5.2 inch Full HD display with Snapdragon 430 processor, 3 GB RAM, 32 GB internal storage, a 16 megapixel camera on the rear with a 5 megapixel camera on the front, fingerprint scanner just like the G5 Plus with 3000 mAh battery. Moto G5 S Plus comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD display with 3000 mAh battery, Snapdragon 625 processor, 3 GB RAM, 32 GB internal storage with a dual camera setup on the back. It has two 13 megapixel cameras placed horizontally with f2.0 aperture. We can still shoot video in 4K and on the front we have an 8 megapixel wide angle camera. In India, it might be launched in mid August for 18,000 rupees. Next we have news from ASUS. ASUS Zenfone 4 will be announced on August 17th and the company has given a sneak peek at its new phone confirming dual cameras on the back. Along with Zenfone 4, 4 Pro, 4 Selfie and 4 Max will be launched. Next we have news from Google. Google has announced Made in India initiative for Android apps in the Google Play Store. It has brought in 700 Android developers throughout the country and shared them some tips and tools to improve their Android apps. Now the Indian developers can apply to showcase their apps in a specific section for Indian apps in the Google Play Store. Next we have news about OnePlus 5. OnePlus 5 is getting another software update with some bug fixes, stability improvements, Android security patch for July, a new font and some additional features along with electronic video stabilization for 4K video recording. Next news is from Acer. Acer has launched a new gaming laptop, Nitro 5, in India at 76,000 rupees. It will be available on Flipkart and Acer stores. It has a red backlit keyboard. It will be powered by the 7th generation Intel Core i7 or i5 processors with NVIDIA graphic cards. It will have a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display with Dolby Audio, a 128GB SSD along with 1TB hard drive, Gigabit Ethernet port and one USB Type-C port. Next news is from Xiaomi. A new smartphone called Xiaomi Mi 6C has been leaked in the Chinese websites. It will have the Xiaomi's very own Surge S2 processor built on 16nm architecture. It is an octa-core processor with 4 Cortex-A73 cores and 4 Cortex-A53 cores. It will have 4GB or 6GB of RAM with a 12MP dual camera setup on the back and 5MP front facing camera. Next news is from Facebook. Facebook is reportedly working on a laptop sized touchscreen device for video chat. It will be using Facebook or WhatsApp as a platform to reach millions of users. Google is also working on a similar device just for video chat. Next we have news from Sony. Sony has launched a new home theater system for the Indian market called HT RT40 at 23,000 rupees. It is a 5.1 channel home theater system with a maximum output of 600 watts. Next news is from Micromax. Micromax is planning to launch a premium smartphone with curved display by the end of August. It will support the Snapdragon 835 processor, 6GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. It might have a 5.7 inch curved display with 9 to 18 aspect ratio and these new phones will be part of the Infinity series. Next news is from Samsung. Samsung Galaxy J7 Pro is now available at a price tag of 21,000 rupees. It comes with a 5.5 inch Full HD AMOLED display, 16 GB internal storage with 3 GB RAM, running Android 7.0 Nougat. This is the first Samsung budget phone to come with the complete Samsung Pay experience. Now you can use this phone to make card payments without actually using the card. Next news is about the Pixel phones. Cases for the upcoming Pixel XL and the Pixel XL 2 have been leaked. Based on that, these phones will have nearly invisible bezels 
there's no audio jack and it might have IP68 water and dust resistance. Next news is from Infinix. Infinix has launched two new phones in the Indian market called Infinix Note 4 at 9000 rupees and Infinix Hot 4 Pro at 7500 rupees. Specs look decent but they still can't beat Redmi 4 or the Redmi Note 4. In terms of price to specs value, they are definitely the second best thing after Xiaomi phones. Next news is from Vivo. At the Mobile World Congress 2017, Vivo has showcased the first ever under display fingerprint scanner. After that, there have been many rumors about the S8 and iPhone 8 to come with an under display fingerprint scanner, but that doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. Now there is a new leak about a Vivo flagship called Vivo X Play 7, also known as Vivo X20, to come with a bezel-less display just like the Samsung S8 along with an under display fingerprint scanner. This phone will be launched in November 2017. Final news of the day is from Mizu. Last week, Mizu has launched its dual display smartphone, Pro 7 and Pro 7 Plus, and now there are new leaks about Mizu X2, which features a secondary circular display on the back, just like the Mizu Pro 7. So, guys, that brings us to the end of the tech news. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I am Nikhil from DD Tech signing off. Have a nice day.